High rollers, first thing, the big numbers, no one versus the big numbers, and here we and after later on, rematch gets Brandon Martin. Here we go. Oh, there's Brandon right there. What's up, Brandon? Oh, hey, Noah. Hey. hey. All right. Brandon, get ready to announce. Here we go. Oh, I got to get on the any death first. Oh, yeah. Get your, get your butt over here. I love to, I love to say that. I love to say that. There we go. And me, I... I Damn, I've gone H side again. So started, there we go. Alright, here we go. Let's go to my game show games. Go to the high rollers. I already fixed up the uh the uh, the jackpot one for the uh the, oh, the big numbers, here we go. We're going for the big two hundred thousand dollars, here we go. Oh, Wait a minute, I forgot to do the credits. I forgot to do the opening credits. I forgot to do the opening credits. Here we go. Brandon Martin, get ready. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And now, a game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. I think of Brandon Martin for the intro. Welcome to another episode of High Rollers. High Rollers Scale Strategy and Time to Touch on these unpredictable dice. We're going to start on our, our new match in just a moment, but first things first, we're going to take care of that one piece of business that we haven't started on our last episode. But first things, we're going to go start with the big numbers first. But before we do that, let's meet our our new champion from the last week's on our last episode. Let's welcome back Noah Lohmeyer. Good to be back, Andrew. You're you're our new champion, and you so far you got thirty three thousand four hundred thirty one dollars in pro in cash and prizes. Yes. And this is your first opportunity, your first chance to play for the jackpot for two hundred thousand dollars. But before we go to the big numbers, re tell everybody uh, about yourself once again for our new view new viewers. Well, for anybody who's new, my name's Noah Longmire. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Mississippi, and uh, the game shows Pokemon, and um, yeah, I'm just uh, yeah. And of course, you're gonna be your first chance to winning that 200,000. Are you ready for the big numbers? I'm ready. Let's get to the big numbers. Here we go. All right, now I will hear the here's the rules of the big numbers. We'll give you 250 dollars. I mean, we will give you two thousand dollars for each number. If you got all nine, you win two hundred thousand. Anytime you get an insurance marker, anytime you roll a double. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I really love to see you win that jet jackpot. Press the entry key when you roll the dice. Here we go. <laughs> and you got an eight. How are you gonna take that eight? I'll take the eight as is. Eight, the single eight, and keep on going. Here we go. And you got a seven. How are you gonna take that seven? Uh, one and six, please. The one and six. Keep the single seven on the board. All the rolls are good. Keep going. Here we go. And a seven and again. Single seven, three, four, or two and five. Two and five. The two and five combination. The all right, before you roll, before you hit the answer key, I'm going to tell you the bad rolls are 5, 6, and 8 are bad. 3, 4, 7, 9, okay. 10, 11, 12 are good. Keep going. You got, you're got you doing great. Oh and a 9! They're only one way. Yes. The 9 is now the bad roll, and it's also a 12. Keep going. Here we go. No! no five. Not this time. 
but he did clear six numbers at two thousand dollars for a number that's twelve thousand dollars add to your thirty three thousand four hundred and thirty one dollars you have maybe your 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 first time champion and your grand total of forty five thousand four hundred thirty one dollars and the best part is no when we take a commercial break when we come back Brandon Martin, he wants a rematch, and we're gonna we're gonna deal this right after this commercial break. All right? All right. We'll be back right after this. All right. Let's grab my trusty pen so I can write this Toto down. Oh, I love it when I keep saying that when Brandon Martin keep that with. I always say like Brandon Martin does a. Listen, well, I always say like Brandon Martin does. I always say something like you do, Brandon, every time. Yeah, we're going to write that tag again. Yeah, yeah, you see? There we go, there we go. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. Remember, remember, if you lose again, you don't, don't start him out, all right? All right. No, I'm talking about Brandon. I'm talking about Brandon. Okay, sorry. Understood. Here we go. Let's get on our new match on our way. Welcome back to High Rollers and Noah. All oh, three numbers away. Three numbers away to win that jackpot. So far, you got almost over forty-five thousand dollars in cash and prizes. Good luck to you. But your opponent wants to stop you, and the same opponent from the last episode. Let's welcome back Brandon Martin. Thank you, thank you. Did I get it right? Did I do it, I do it. I, I, I always save that moment for you, Brandon, and just like that. Well, good luck to you. I hope, I hope you're gonna get your title back. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Good luck, Noah. All thank right, you, let's. All right, let's take a look at the prices in, in game number one, and Brandon Martin, if you please. All righty, Andrew. Here are the prices in column number one for game number one. We have a trip to France. That total column for number one is $23,616. And for the prizes in column number two, we have a trip to Israel. And that total for column number two is $19,734. And this time for the prize in column three, we have a snowmobile. That is worth $8,287. The total board is $51,637. And no, we will be not adding $32 to that total. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. And we're gonna we're definitely not gonna add that. Twenty thirty-two dollars. We're not. We're not gonna add anything. We're not. Any, we're not Dante. Remember that. I know that. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, let's put the numbers up. I'm gonna put the first column. Here we go. And I was wrong. The, the hot column. Uh, actually, column three with a roll of eleven. Win that snowmobile with almost eighty-three hundred dollars. Noah, your buzzing keys is dead. Brandon is the M. And oh yeah, bro, oh, yeah, M. It means Martin. That's right. I love it. I love it. Are you both ready? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Are you both ready? I got the first question. Here we go. Ready. I'm ready. Who played Harry in the Harry Potter movies? Who played Harry in the Harry Potter movies? Got it. Are you trying to buzz? Who's trying to buzz in? I'll be me. And it is Brandon. I'll be Daniel Radcliffe. Right answer. You got it. All the rolls are good. Here we go. All right. Come on, 11. Or double. Let's go. And you got 11 right off the bat. 11 right off the bat. I'm going with this. I'll go with the two. I'm going to go with until it's Nisa. Come on. Let's go. All right. Come on. Okay. There we go. Three. And the six. The two three six two three six cleared the third column worth almost eighty three hundred dollars. Not the eighty three hundred dollars snowmobile we're talking about. All right. All right. All you have to do is win the game to 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 collect that snowmobile. All right. I have the next question. Here we go. 
What fast food chain opened its first location in 1965 in Bridgeport, Connecticut? Seven, it's and it is Noah. Uh, just a wild guess. Um, Arby's. Wrong. What am I? What is one of my favorite fast food places? That would be McDonald's. Mm. -mm. If you go on it, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that part since the the podcast. Or it was Subway. It, oh, yeah, that's right. Subway, okay, the yeah. Subway was the first location in 1960 in 65 in Bridgeport, Connecticut. <laughs> Brandon, you're in control, and the only bad row is a three. Or a tree. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do, Brandon? I'll roll. Here we go. Anything but the tree. Tree. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Here we go. No! What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that means no one won the first game that fast. That would take two questions. Unbelievable. That would take two questions and then and that happens. Oh my goodness. No one won the first game at a thousand dollars. Brandon, that was like a complete total shock. Uh, yeah, Andrew. Oh my goodness. But well, that's okay. It's only take, you can tie the game and then, and then, and you can, all you do is tie the game. It's simple. Alright, prizes yeah. in game two. Here we go. Alright, for the prizes we come on, in game number two we have the salvage trip to France. Now we're going to add in a European vacation this time. Total column number one is $32,605. And for the prizes in column two, we have, we still got the trip to Israel. Now we're going to have an NGNC cruise. The total for column number two is $53,621. And this time for the prizes in column number three, we have, we still got the snowmobile. Now we're going to add in a Bahama cruise. The total for column number three is $16,789. And the total board is a hundred and three thousand fifteen dollars. Good luck, players. All right, thank you, Brandon. All right, we're gonna put the numbers up. I'm gonna try again and go for the first column. Here we go. First. No, the same column, column three, with a roll of ten. Oh, wow. When the the snowmobile and the Bahama Sea and the Bahama Cruise were almost seventeen thousand dollars. Oh boy, Brandon, you know the drill. You need this next this game to stay alive. Uh, yep. Here's your first question of game number two. Name both a Princess Diana's children. Name both a Princess Diana's children. Trying to get my buzzer. Here we go. Here we go. Correct answer is William and Harry. Okay. All right. I have the next. I got another question. Here we go. All five members of the boy band One Direction appeared on what reality TV show? Yes. Correct answer is the X Factor. Oh, okay. I got another question. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. What is the best selling album at all of all time? What is the best selling album of all time? Pass. 
It was Thriller by Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. All right, I got another question. Here we go. Oh, here we go. What founder of Wendy's appeared in the Burger Chain ads? What founder of Wendy's appeared in the Burger Chain ads? No guess. The correct answer is Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas is the correct answer. I have another question. Here we go. What newspaper boasts the that is had has all the news that fits fits to print? What newspaper boasts that is has all the news that's fit to print? And it is Noah. Oh, yes, New York Times. Right answer, you got it. Oh, yeah. Noah finally got it right. He finally got it right. Your roll. Here we go. All the rolls are good. All right. And let's see, you got a seven. <clears throat> uh, five and two. Five and two combination. You got it. That leads to the three in the, in the third column. With that snowmobile and the Bahamas cruise, here's your next question. What do the letters SOS and SOS soap pad stand for? What do the letters SOS and SOS soap pad stand for? Correct. Oh, the correct. Yeah, hard. The correct answer is to save our saucepans. Oh. All right. I have another question. Here we go. What does Clark Kent do for a living, and where did he does he work? What does Clark Kent do for a living, and where does he work? And it is Noah. Clark Kent works as a newspaper reporter, and he works for the Daily Planet. Right answer, you got it. All the rolls are good. There we go. Here we go. Then you got an eight. Uh, I'll take the eight. Eight all by itself. That leads with the eleven in the middle column. Here's your <laughs> next. Here's your next question. What did Crayola add to their 64-piece crayon box in 1958? What did Crayola add to their 64-piece crayon box in 1958? Pass. No guess. Oh, run. Run buzzer. Here we go. It was the sharpener. It was the sharpener. <laughs> it was the. It, it's a. It's a true statement. It's a. They add a, a sharpener added to their 64 piece 64 piece crayons in 1958. Uh, they have to. You have to sharpen it to get get a little tip right there on the on the crayon. That's why. All right. That's all right. I have another question. Here we go. I have another question. Oh yeah. Here we go. What basketball Hall of Famer scored a record 100 points in one game? And it is Noah. Michael Jordan. Wrong. <laughs> Correct answer is Wilt Chamberlain. Yep, I, I knew that one. Brandon, you're in control and all the roles are good. All right, let's go. Come on, Levin. Let's do it. Come on, we're double. Here we go. And a ten. Hmm. What do you want to do, Brandon? Hmm. What do you want to do? What am I? What am I gonna do? Oh yes. How about? Hmm. <laughs> oh yes. I'll go with. A. I'll go. I'll make things a little easier. I'll go one, the six, 
and the tree. <laughs> One, six, three. Combination cleared the third con worth almost $17,000. That's the snowmobile and the Palma Cruise. Yours to, yours to win if you win this game. We have three numbers left and four different combinations left. Here's your next question. Who is tennis superstar Serena Williams' sister? Buzz. And it's Brandon. I'll be Venus Williams. And you're absolutely right. Good rolls of 4, 7, 9, and 11. What do you want to do? I'm passing that to Mr. Noah. Noah, if you roll at 4, 7, 9, and 11 to stay alive, miss it. Brandon ties the game. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Come on. No! Brendan ties the game! So Brandon has tied the game, and you got those the, the snowmobile and the Bahamut cruise worth almost $17,000. And of course, it's now yours now, Brandon. Now we're yeah. going now we're going to the all-rubber match, our tiebreaker. And Brandon Martin is still looking, we have prizes we have in in our tiebreaker game. Alrighty, Andrew. For the prize and column number one for the tiebreaker, we still got this is France. Still got the trip the European vacation. Now we're gonna add a pool package. Ooh. So that's total for column number one is thirty nine thousand six hundred and forty two dollars. And for the prize and column number two we still got the trip to Israel the Aegean Sea Cruise, and now we're going to add a Black Sea Cruise. <laughs> Gold for column number two is $92,307. And for the prizes in column number three, we have, we're going to add on a trip to Greece. So, total to to column number three is $25,222, and the to whole total board of $100,000. $57,171. Good luck, buddy. All right. Thank you, Brandon. Let's put the numbers up. Once again, third time of the charm. First call. Here we go. I was wrong again. The third call is always lucky. With a row of boxcars when the, they trip to Greece worth over $25,000. We're on Wednesday, so we're gonna play the big numbers for a chance for $225,000. It could be Noah, our current champion, or Brandon could start over again and become a new champion. Let's find out. Are you both ready? Ready. Yes. I got the first question. Here we go. What duo formed a hip hop group, Outcast? Who? What duo? What duo formed a hip hop group, Outcast? Has no clue. It was Andre 3000 and Big Boy. Oh. I am. That's all right. I got another question. Here we go. How many flavors of ice cream does Baskin Robbins serve at any given time? Has no clue. It was 31. 31. 31. 31. They serve 31 flavors at any given time. Actually, the more information, they serve in, introduce over 1,300 different flavors. I would do like do some 31 flavors at a time. That's why. Oh. That's all right. I have another question. Here we go. What Ford car gained the notoriety during the 1970s for exploding after being rear-ended? I need a different type of Ford car. Yes. No clue. It was the car from the 1970s was the Pinto. And of course, Pinto is they also the rename. Of course, I think it was the Mustang. They changed their name to the Mustang after that. Who knew? Who knew? That's all right. We got another question. Here we go. What floor is Jerry Seinfeld's apartment on? On the series of TV Seinfeld. Sorry. 
sorry, could you repeat the question, Andrew? What floor is Jerry Seinfeld's apartment on on the series on the TV series Seinfeld? And is Noah? Second floor. Say it again. Second floor. Wrong. Try adding three more floors. The fifth floor is the correct answer. Stand. Brandon, you're in control and all the rolls are good. Alright, come on, 12. Four up double, let's go. Come on. And you got a five. Alright. Hmm, let's see what I'm going to go with. Oh, uh, yes. I'm going with the who and the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Two and three combination that leads with a 12 in the middle and a 10 in the third. Here's your next question. What mascot was created in 1944 for the U.S. Forest Service to help prevent forest fires? And it is Noah. Smokey the Bear. Right answer. You got it. Noah, the only bad row is a three. Alright, I'll roll. Here we go. Eddie, stay away from three. Here we go. And a five. Another five. Take the four and the one. The four and one combination coming. That leads with the eight in the middle and the nine and the thirty. Here's your next question. On what TV drama did Martin Sheen play the U.S. president? On what TV drama did Martin Sheen play the U.S. president? Uh, pass. Clue. One of my favorite dramas, The West Wing. Oh, okay. One of my favorite. That's all right. I have another question. Here we go. That's all right. I got another question. Here we go. In 1971, General Mills introduced. What cereal feature a vampire on the box? And it is Noah. Epic Crunch. Wrong! I said, like, I will, I'll read the entire question. In 1971, General Mills introduced what cereal feature a vampire on the box? Count Drac- it's oh. Count Dracula. It's correct answer. Brandon, you're in control, and I'm going to tell you the bad rolls are 3, 4, and 10. What do you want to do? Hmm. I'll take my chances and go ahead and roll. You want to roll it? Oh, no 3, no 4, and no 10. Here we go. All right, stay away from me there, 3, 4, and 10. Come on now. <coughs> Give yourself 8, 4, 9. Let's go. Come on. No! What? <laughs> No, is a remaining champion. I this is that this is happening again. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. I don't know why. I don't know why. I said no three, no four, no ten, and it's the second time in this episode that's the same way. Unbelievable. Well, that's <clears throat> well, Brandon. I suppose you wanted to take another rematch. Sure as hell I want a rematch, yeah. <laughs> Alright, don't get don't get angry, take a deep breath. I was not I'm not. But that's alright. So Brandon will we'll bring you back in another episode. But first things first, Noah, congratulations. Thank you. When we come back, can Noah go for two Break that jackpot this time? 225,000? You don't want to miss it? Come on back. Oh, duh. oh man. That's never happened before in High Rollers. Oh my goodness. Man, oh man. Good game, Brandon. Yeah, good game there, Noah. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Alright, let's get to the big numbers. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. This time, this time, this time, you can definitely say that. Yes. All right, Noah, are you ready for the big numbers? I'm ready. Here we go. All 
All right, no, you're, so far you won $47,431 in cash and prizes. Well, you need $2,250 for each number. If you get all nine, that's $225,000. Insurance market, every time you roll a double, let's get this. Let's see, I want to see you get that jackpot this time. Let's do it. Here we go. <clears throat> and it's seven. I'm going to take that seven. Five and two. Keep going. Here we go. Right, come on, double. <laughs> and it's seven again. <laughs> All right. This time I want four and three. Four and three. I'm gonna tell you that no one before you hit that hit your key. The only good rolls are only six through ten are good. Three, four, ten. five, and eleven and twelve are bad. Here we go. <clears throat> And a six! Let's take that six out. Only seven through ten are good. Here we go! <laughs> no! Another five. Not that time. Ah. Uh, well, another five numbers at $2,250 for each number. So, so far you got $11,250. Actually, you're $47,000. $431. So that means out of two matches, no, you've won $58,687. Yes. Oh, man. That was tricky. Every time when you say 4, 3, and 2, and 5, and uh, like, oh, I thought you got to take the 7. That's why. That's, cause when, every time when Brandon's, when he plays the big numbers, he always do is take care of the single numbers first and then worry about the other things later. That's what I should have done. Yep. You should have... Brandon should have helped you on that one. Yep. But that's okay. If you win if you win the next match, Noah, that would be your third match. And so far, the jackpot currently at a quarter of a million dollars. Now, I didn't look at my calendar. Are you free on... Let's see. Do you got any plans for Tuesday? I'm free on Tuesday. All right. Are you free, Brandon? On Tuesday. Uh, yeah. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Oh, no. Four numbers on. All right. Did everybody have a great time? We did. Other than that, other, other than that three from the tiebreaker game. No. Uh, yeah. All right, join us next time. Can Noah go for his third match and go and break that jackpot? Or can Brandon Martin what, continues to stop Noah going for his third match? You have to wait and see and find out on the next episode of High Rollers. And, of course, this is Andrew Hawking, and we'll see you all oh, next time right here on High Rollers. Goodbye, everybody. Clear.